Okay, here's a question for you on a Monday morning. Should a single test given at the age of four decide the educational future of a student? This is for their entire school run. They take this test wow. at four. So every January, this happens in the U.S., about 15,000 kids in New York City take a single high-stakes exam that decides whether or not they get into the gifted program. And this decides whether or not they get to stay in this program. Uh, these kids, remind, are just four years old. So here's what they're asked to do. This is all age appropriate. It's set up by, uh, by educational consultants. They have to finish patterns, do math, and define words. Uh, so those who land in the 90th percentile move on. But there is a lot of criticism in this, uh, including concerns about the largest school system in the US, in New York becoming racially segregated, and here's why, because the majority of the kids who make it into the gifted programs are either white or Asian backgrounds. So it led to this discussion about looking at, you know, they're saying, well, they should just scrap the gifted program altogether, and I don't think that's the real problem. I think the problem is, let's take a look at the rest of the education system and figure out why people are so desperate to get into the gifted program, mm -hmm. because the uh, learning values are higher, because the expectation is higher, and because the teaching demands higher pay, and so you have, a better quality of teacher, it, it, so to speak. It, it's also interesting that there's there's one access point, and yeah. that's at, yeah. at, at the age of four. Yeah. You would think that they would have access points at five and six and seven as well. So it's, it's, it's interesting that there's only one choke point uh, yeah. in which to get into this system. I'd love to know the rationale behind it. Is it just that they're trying to find kids who perhaps are born with the idea of knowing how to do patterns and defining words or whatever? But you also know that it's environment um, as well, right? It's mm -hmm. what kids are exposed to at a young age. And so that, I think, is where we get into the, the issue with segregation is that I believe that this is in a community where the majority of the population is not white and not Asian, yet those are the kids who are getting in. Um, obviously, there are some issues, but I don't know what the answer is. And it can't be swinging all the way to the other side of the spectrum saying, well, let's just scrap the program altogether. I mean, right. there is value. They wouldn't have created this program. It wouldn't have been around for as many years if there wasn't real value in it. Mm -hmm. So why scrap it? If it, I mean, just find, find a way to fix it. And support the other end of the spectrum. So if you're going to support the gifted side of the program, then you also need to support the kids who need extra help in learning mm -hmm. as well. Well, right? So I just think to scrap the program, I don't know if it's a, hmm. and also at the age of four, yeah. to have to decide by that age. I mean, my kid's at four. I know. I was thinking, because my son's four right now, yes. I was like, in, in an exam like that? To I mean, sit down and take a test. Yeah. I don't know that my kids could sit years. down for, for, for yeah, exactly. 20 minutes <laughs> and not move. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.